Yes! Welcome! Welcome! <laughs> oh, that was fucked up. Perfection. Oh he God. just disconnected himself. Wow. Did <laughs> I... A can new you still... record. That's a, literally a new record. Can you hear me? Can you still hear me? Yeah, Is that we it? can hear you, we just can't see you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Welcome, everyone. everyone. Welcome to Diamond Cast, episode 10. We made it 10 episodes. Woo! Woo! Ben oh, 10. <laughs> How's everyone feeling today? Superb. It's the hottest day of the year. And we're the hottest we're people here. of the year. Yeah, yes. <laughs> you knew it. <laughs> oh, so what's everyone up to this week? Being hot. <laughs> hey, that's and what I'm beautiful. up to every week. <laughs> oh, yes, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> um, what day is it? Thursday. Mm. Yeah, we're, so no, oh, we're pre-recording this again. Uh, oh, oh, yes. yeah, yeah, cut that out. What day is it? Cut out the bag. Wow. <laughs> um, it's Sunday. I we've been working on new songs. Yeah, I heard they sounded really good. Oh, nice! Thanks very much. Although I haven't heard them, so I've just heard oh, you them. heard they sounded. I've good. Heard you they don't sounded. Hear really them good. sounding. Not yet. No one's shown me them yet. But oh um, well, you know. The thing is, learn. do do you want to wait? Like, at what point do you want to hear it? Like, in terms of percentage of completion. What like? Wait, are we, uh, is this is this a conversation or is this? For I don't know. Is, is this is this good content? <laughs> is this good chat? People love hearing about uh, how like you write songs and stuff. Like, well, so we- you as a close friend and supporter of the <laughs> of the music, close friend of the music, um, do you would you would you want to hear it at like thirty percent, or would you want to wait till like eighty percent completion? Do you mean like as in thirty percent of layers or thirty percent of the song like cuts off after? Oh, um, in, in a, n- neither. <laughs> I mean, like in terms of like completion, <laughs> as in, oh. right? We think we're eighty percent there here now. This is good. This is there's a few more things to do, or when are you comfortable sharing it? Right, I think that's I wouldn't the, like that's to hear a song 80%. that you weren't comfortable sharing. I think it's a I correct think, answer. I think thirty percent finished. That means it's just maybe <laughs> instruments. There's no vocals here or something. Yeah, because fifty percent would be maybe wind vocals, but no harmonies or backing vocals, right? Maybe, maybe. I found it depends on the person and how much, yeah. like, you haven't done. Because I think sometimes people can't imagine what you can imagine the final thing will sound like. That's a fair point. That's a fair um, point. So yeah. I, I prefer to play it to people when it's as close to, you know. Yeah, because then you just end up regret. Yeah. But totally, because yeah. if I find that I find that I regret it, if I if I show if I get so excited about something and I'm like, well, this is sounding great, listen, and it's like sixty percent done, and then the impact's lost when I actually show them the final version because they're like, yeah, haven't I already heard this? No, no, but they're gonna have the proper version. <laughs> so yeah, yeah that's it's definitely the case with all like when musicians play com- incomplete versions, and then people go, okay, cool, yeah, I think that's because to someone who's not. A music producer it sounds complete sometimes yeah yeah and you're like but no on the final one i eq'd the syncopated tambourine <laughs> in a really cool way that you just don't care about and then you go oh yeah it does sound a bit more full or like, like, I, 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 like six days work i think it sounded better before actually yeah well yeah. that's the worst <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, don't show it to me yet. And yeah, so I might be like, I totally did that with like a band's demo disc uh, back in 2005. And uh, I was like, I really love the demos. I listen to them all the time. And then they released their actual album. And I was like, oh, it's not as good. And then they broke like up. As much. <laughs> yeah, after you told them. <laughs> no, they didn't. They're actually still going and really successful. But I can't tell you who it is. Oh, in that case. Ooh, I know who it is. I know who it is. Wow, mystery. Leave a comment in the in the comments if you can guess yeah. what band it is if you can guess <laughs> out of all the bands in the world that are still going then you, you had a give demo a disc in 2005 can I give a clue? which I, I got know. from them being their fan on MySpace and um, I might still have so it might be a good one too you're the first independent band to headline the Astoria I guess that's a clue if you know your Ooh, musical history trivia that's a good clue isn't it? <laughs> a good clue not that I don't like their album, by the way. It's good. I just had the demo album meant so much more because it was like, I suppose I was 17 and it was all that emotion. And I'm I'm digging myself a hole. But Yeah, yeah they're watching. They hate you. They, they might watch be watching. it one day. Um, so today we're going to talk about Guilty Pleasures. 
um, which is why we've sent everyone a message uh, asking people what their guilty pleasures are, which we're going to delve into later on. Um, but um, first, uh, let's let's hear from Diamond Black. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Well, we thought after doing pet peeves last last week, we should do something more positive. <laughs> Yeah, like what? Well, then this could be anything. It could be like food. It could be music. It could be things. Well, you because go for it. There was a good. There was a good comment on what you um what you sent um about trashy TV. Yeah, and yeah, <laughs> I've always recently tried to av- to avoid it because I get addicted. I get addicted to um stuff like. Uh, it's some sort of like home makeover show or bargain hunt or more recently I got completely addicted to RuPaul's Drag Race and had to watch all of it. Um, uh, have you seen every single series? I think I've seen up until about series 47. Uh, but one thing I noticed that TV has done, both British and American in the last few years, maybe the last 10 years, is that it, is, it now scores every single moment of what's happening, just in case you don't know what emotion to feel, right? So <laughs> something will happen to be like, oh, this is the funny bit. Oh, this is the sad bit. And like this level of ridiculous over-the-top doom where something like the judge <laughs> goes, I thought the cake you did was, was fantastic. Really one of my favorites. Happy music. However, the icing. Like, and you're like, oh my God, they didn't like the icing. Um, and there's this just level of like peril and doom that's so over the top. And you'll see it in like every, whether it be Bake Off or RuPaul's Drag Race or Dragon's Den. Um, they tr- they're, they're leading your emotions every step of the way, just in case you didn't know what to feel. And I find myself like really aware of it now. Um, you think that's why people have more anxiety these days? Yeah, because yeah. there's that sa- constant soundtrack of the icing's not right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I, um, I, I was a big fan of the the Netflix show Squid Game. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Yeah, uh, awesome. like I, uh, six or seven episodes, absolutely brilliant. Like one of the best yeah. things. I watched it twice. So good. And um, then there was something else that came up on Netflix that was called like Squid Game The Challenge. And I thought, oh, how cool. There's like a new series of it. So I started watching it. I was like, this is rubbish. Why, yeah. why, why are they not dying? They're actually just getting shot with paint gun pellets. They're what, real people, what is, 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 is it, <laughs> We're getting there. cash grab. <laughs> we're getting there, right? I was like, oh, if they, if they tried to make it sort of just so it's like a universal PG now so that they've made a new series that's really like everybody can watch. And I thought, I appreciate that. However, it does take out the main threat element of the of the story, which is um, your life is at stake in this game. And I watched it for like three episodes going, this is a bit rubbish, isn't it? And then I thought, oh, it's real. It's real. <laughs> so I got about three episodes through before I realised it was real. Um and then I got addicted to that score on everything. And uh, it wasn't great, but I think why I got addicted, my excuse, was that I wanted to see how they would do stuff from the actual show in reality and how they would, certain Legally. games they could do, certain they couldn't do. <laughs> um, and it was actually, I actually did admire the way they did it because they did it a lot more to do with the factions that would break off and then trying to turn people against each other with these games where it's like now the, the only way you can win is if you if you like basically betray your friends and it was it was quite high stakes okay. so um yeah i will i will get addicted to that stuff and then i'll just have to like be serially monogamous to that for the next like <laughs> 17 you series for your tv shows man <laughs> it can't be just like i've got to watch drag race that's the only thing for me now who's um, your favorite um drag queen on drag race i really liked um Oh. oh, son of a bitch. Right? Oh, the, the <laughs> That's not a drag queen. Who's <laughs> <laughs> <He's> back? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> the favourite character in Drag Race was character, uh, person, celebrity. Um, uh, contestant. Contestant was um, Ariel, who almost won season... I don't know, 427 but didn't um i thought i thought um she just sort of had it all she was really humble and really talented great singer great dancer good personality um what about you i, I presume you've watched it easy bianca del rio why bianca del rio is best and also Alyssa. wait Alyssa edwards boost is the, <laughs> the best too <laughs> 
the one that I got frustrated with was the uh, very, very good, very good drag queen was the one who was called Heidi Uncloset, um, which presumably was a wordplay that meant hiding in the closet, right? Mm. But she, she should have been called Uta, which is the German name, Uta de Closet, right? Should have been called oh, Uta wait, de to... Closet oh, because good. it's all about celebrating coming out of the closet, right? Oh, so, uh, Mr. Trick there. And I just sit on my sofa fuming about that. <laughs> was she German? No. <laughs> oh, was she Dutch? No, so maybe oh. it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't. But no, oh, surely okay. it doesn't matter, right? No, but I mean, it would. I thought that would be like the uh, this extra icing on the cake. That that, that would have been awesome yeah. if that had been the case. Now I think she was like Nashville or something. But um, oh. but yeah, the character could be from anywhere, and then speaking in in in, in appropriate accents. That would be good. Oh. Like a German yeah, accent. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Uta, Uta D closet. There you go, Vincent. You haven't said your favourite drag queen. <laughs> I don't have one. I don't have one. You, d- you didn't. You didn't. You didn't watch it. No, no. Do you have a reality TV show that you binge watched ever? You yeah, that? yeah. That, that as well. When you said Squid Game, that one. I really, really enjoyed that one. And um, what, the show or the reality version of the show? No, the re- the, the, the the one on Netflix. I haven't seen what, whatever you guys are talking about. The other the other Squid Game. The the. The rip off. Yeah. <laughs> no. It was like they, they basically the made it into a reality contestant yeah. TV show, and I didn't no, realize, I like, like and I thought it was real. Where they actually died. That one. That was what I was talking yeah. about. The original the yeah. Korean. What's yeah, your really What's your favorite of the games of the six or seven games that there was in Squid Game that you really uh, stuck with you? The 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 the, the rope. Uh, was what's that game called? Tug um, of War. Tug of War. Where they that fell one, off the edge. Was, Oh, I still got. I wasn't expecting that one. They, uh, I thought for sure they were going to lose, but because of that old man and his knowledge, they won. That was yeah, quite the, good. the strategy oh, yeah. was really good, wasn't yeah. it? That they they beat yeah. like the big bunch of just random, like you know. The, yeah, the, the and dudes. the thing is, we were kids. When we were kids. We used to play that. I didn't. I didn't know that you can actually. Yeah, if if you what he was saying was um, kind of like placing people alternately, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't know that was. Oh, that was actually. I didn't know that was going to work, but yeah, I guess it makes sense. And then at the start, when they like let the other guys win for a minute, yeah, um, yeah, that was just so tense, so they, wasn't it? Yeah, so they they lost balance, and then um, yeah, they won. So I like I like that one. And there's quite a few games that I really like. And also the the glass uh, the glass bridge. Oh yeah, that was that, that was, was that was so tense, wasn't it? Yeah, so tense, <laughs> and and like you said, I think um, I like the fact that. Um, well, I, I don't like it, but uh, I enjoyed it when when people start started betraying each other. You know, started stabbing each one, each other in the back, and that <laughs> was quite intense. It was good drama, wasn't it? It was good drama. Yeah, yeah. And um, stuff like they never knew what was going to happen in the game. So they do a couple of games and then, right, find a partner for this one. Oh, great. So I'll go with my best friend. I'll go with my wife. And then it's like, oh, now you're actually playing against your best friend or your wife. Yeah. Um, that was that, so the, cool. the, in the marble game, which is so, yeah. like, yeah, it's so dark, so tense, but um, yeah. really well written. Um, Quite brutal, but Very well written. Yeah. Really I'm cool. just remembering all the tension and anxiety I felt watching it as you're mentioning all these things. <laughs> <laughs> on some more fun one, I guess. <laughs> really really scary actually but really good watch very well written if you want if you're looking for like a really good well written show and you haven't watched a good game yet, actually watch it yeah and think, it's only like six or seven episodes so i don't know if you guys um, are aware of the story behind that the writer or uh, the guy who actually wrote the whole story Did you know no no apparently it was a, a guy who was um he wrote he wrote the whole thing for many years he's been he's been trying to work on it i think it was ridiculous maybe about 10 years or something and then he was uh he was uh, approaching different um, um companies and um, tv networks to kind of like um sell his story and no one was uh, buying it until one maybe one company i don't know they'll quote me on this but i don't think it was netflix or maybe it was netflix but it's something like that they were one of them okay let's um let's give you, give this a shot and he said that he was about to sell his laptop because he was absolutely broke absolutely skinned and he was um he was basically just uh, losing hope until one of the companies kind of like uh, gave the go ahead um and then they said yeah okay let's make it into a movie and then it became yeah. super successful right it was one of the most watched um document or, or uh, films on netflix and that's a great story, story. That's super, it was about to like romantic yeah. kind of you know, like 
it's fairy tale, I suppose, of, of making it. Yeah. Like our band. Do you, yeah. Do you know why <laughs> they, they, oh, he didn't come up? Did did it did it say why people weren't interested? Because it's such a great and simple concept. You'd think that everyone would have be like, Yeah, let's definitely make it. Did he yeah. say why people were rejecting it? I d I don't know, maybe maybe they, they maybe he say, he mentioned it by just Maybe they didn't read the whole thing, the whole story, but it was kind of like uh, I just read this uh, whole the, like the summary of it and how he was struggling to sell his movie. And, uh, Maybe he showed it to people when it was fifty percent finished. <laughs> Good callback. <laughs> 30 percent, or maybe maybe it was too violent, or maybe I don't know. Maybe it was just too. <laughs> well, on the subject of um, TV and and things like that, so mine is. Basically, I like to get lost in talking for ages and thinking and basically fantasizing uh, about possibilities that I will never be able to prove going down a sort of what if rabbit hole uh, about the future um, and about science fiction. Because I'm a huge science fiction fan, uh, as are, uh, as is uh, Adam for sure and Ben and Vincent uh, to a more degree, to a lesser degree. We'll find out. Uh, basically, <laughs> um uh, so I'm I'm thinking all the time about like what about aliens about life on other planets do they exist why haven't we discovered them yet why haven't they discovered us yet um, I'm thinking about time travel I start thinking about AI robots and taking over and yeah I'll just I'll sit there and talk about those things for hours and that's my guilty pleasure because it just makes me really happy. Well, um, I've got a theory. It's not mine. I, I've um, I'm going to credit it to the person who actually came up with it, who was um, Alan, who did the Alan, 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 um, Alan who did the lights for us at the at the uh, the garage. Um, oh, cool! Very very nice, Alan. He said to me, he said that he heard a theory, or maybe it's his theory, that you know how whenever the the classic the classic image of a of an alien is the what do you call it the grey ones or something the mm, um you'll notice in that like, grays yeah mm -hmm. right where it's that uh, describe to me what a typical gray looks like gray well, like a short bald like roger from american dad big. <laughs> less sarcastic yeah. bigger big round head over eyes but are they short because i know the head shape than is, is, like is big head like the mayans from short. um perfect dark when you tall. shoot them they have green blood they're long and tall. Yeah, they're tall and skinny, but they're like shorter than us. Or maybe they're taller. I don't know. Or like what? I know some, some drawings. They're I quite bring you tall. peace and love. <laughs> but some well, are short. He he said he said that there's a theory that what aliens are. Is, so it's in the in the same way that we look different from our ancestors because we've have developed, we have um, evolved. Maybe, and I don't know how far in the future we're talking about here. But what we know is the classic alien image is humans are humans who have evolved for hundreds, maybe thousands of years and are coming back to observe history in the same way that we would love to go back and look at like medieval times or the Egyptians. So or they've whatever. discovered time travel as well. Yes. Yeah, so they, that's what they are. Time Aliens are time traveling humans. <laughs> Wow, this is so much to process because then it's like, OK, we don't discover time travel until we look like that which yeah. is going to be a long, long way in the future, given that everybody kind of likes to look different and likes to have their own like individuality. Or how many of those little little guys do we actually know exist? Like, do they have in Roswell and stuff like that? Because they might have just sent back like their most uniform looking kind of. Dwellers. That's true. Like maybe you know they're the, sol that's the soldier look or whatever. Maybe. Or yeah. There's or, a good Star Trek that explains that all of the um, alien life in the galaxy are humanoid because it's all descended from one regional species. Kind of Which what that's called kind of corroborates with um, what Alan's saying about mm. maybe that's what it is. And so, yeah, that's why they just come back and they observe stuff um, in the same way that I'd like to go back and observe, <laughs> uh, you know, 1812. Um, whatever. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, think on. Yeah. You know, I was just thinking, it, it is possible because um, <laughs> I, I saw this talk on Netflix about um, <clears throat> about um, some people back, you know, back hundreds, hundreds of years ago that they did describing images from different countries. And obviously, these, these countries are so far apart from each other, but it seems like they're, they're drawing similar things. 
I can't remember the name, uh, the title of this documentary on Netflix, but it's quite interesting. He was traveling all over the world, all over uh, different different places, and um, uh, yeah, like I said, he was it was uh, people people back then were drawing uh, UFO or some kind of um, ancient aliens. Yeah, but they look the same though. That they have similarities. Let's say Trust from Egypt, there's one in Indonesia, there's one in South America, you know. And there was no. He was saying that there was no way they can. You know, there were obviously there were no computers or, or, or telephone back then, but it's interesting how how similar they look, the drawings. So right. maybe the aliens kind of like visited. He was making a point that maybe the aliens visited these um, different parts of the world, trying to maybe explore or or um, see what's out there, or to tell us that 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 you know we're connected, or to help different parts of the world discover science and medicine and whatever. That's my like then. <laughs> what if right what if hu humans and if or or like if we've done all of the development of technology all the way through and completely destroyed ourselves and annihilated the human race already multiple times before and we're mm. just at the cusp of that happening again oh right yeah like it happens in um waves like, or something yeah, yeah. yeah like then, historical then waves then goes, like, that's what the pyramids are like the, the last the last the pyramids are from the future right and they're built by future humans and they've just been built them like that's why no one's been in there and like understands the complete secret pyramid is a time machine you know pyramids a time machine awesome. what if that what if the pyramids are a time machine you go in because they've only got like a little you know the, the bit that we can see is like the rest of the public is just like a little tunnel into and the pyramid's massive what's in the rest of the pyramid true um, I've re I watched a documentary that said that there's a possibility that the pyramids and Stonehenge and um, some other places are actually conductors of some sort, energy conductors of some sort, because of the material that they're made of mm. um, and to do with like ley lines and stuff. So if the pyramids really were places of burial, they'd be a lot grander, but they're almost like machines. They're almost just like these purpose um, full buildings rather than being buildings of celebration. Um, and it was some sort of suggestion that that's, uh, what they were made of and the placement of them was to do with energy conduction. That could be. I mean, that's why the Sphinx is there. It's like a guardian <sighs> of some sort, maybe. Could be. It could be anything. We'll guard dog. I love Big guard dog. Yeah, exactly. Check that. Supposedly, they're supposed to be. They were supposed to be like completely like shiny, weren't they? I yeah. Mean, this is yeah. Google now, um, but I mean that would be really cool, wouldn't it? If they were housing something really precious from the future that was put back there the thousands field. of years ago. So you think yeah. it's gone? Elaborate on your time machine pyramid theory, please. Back to the well, future if you part three. To go back, back in time, and you had a time machine that was static in one place. You'd want to go back to a place that you were sure would exist in the past, right? True. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you've got a, so make it uh, a sacred burial place so that no one destroys yeah, it. Yes, so it's undisturbed. So you can't. You know, if I if I had a time machine in my house, went back hundred years, the house wouldn't exist. I'd be fucked. They need to put it somewhere that when you go back in time, it would be, it would, ex yeah, it would be safe. I see. So you, you arrive. you're not going to appear in the middle of a wall or something. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah. Or like yeah. It's menaced by yeah. crocodiles or whatever. <laughs> um, or like in a that's place that's, that's, that's right. high up when it's not high up in the past or the future, and then you just d fall to your death. Right. The bottom of the sea. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because that's the whole thing, isn't it? The whole thing is that sometimes people forget about time travel. It's not space travel, it's time travel. Um, yeah. and, and also stuff about the shifting of, of the tectonic plates, which means that you wouldn't necessarily go back to exactly the same. If, you, if, if yeah. I went physically back to this space now, yeah. there would, depending on how far I went back, there might be like terrain yeah, discrepancies. Why, with the pyramids, it's a man-made structure. You could, you could track its location. Yeah. Nice, I like it. I like it. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah okay so i was gonna say so adam you said you've got one. Oh well we were talking about reality tv so um i'll, I'll, ba I'll bounce off ben's i like temptation island <laughs> any sort of crap dating show right explain uh, what temptation island is oh, the <laughs> well, I, normal I, people i'm <laughs> wait, how can i explain what temptation island is um Basically, they send these couples to this exotic island, and then there's there's the couples group, and then there's the singles group, and they try and get the singles to tempt. 
the couple was to bring him up and hilarity ensues. <laughs> this show is really dark. It's really funny. Um, but that is proper trash TV. I like, um, uh, but that was just because you were talking about Netflix shows and that's, that's my guilty Netflix show. Um, other than that, Judge Judy, Judge Judy, my girl, All right? <laughs> So Judy is why I'm such a pragmatic negotiator as an adult. <laughs> um, why I'm so what's fair. The, what's the one takeaway that you've learned from Judge Judy that you can um, share with us? Beauty phase dumb is forever. Okay. But, is that a um, show where like real life um, crises would real come on? Real cases, real people. Judge Judy. So a bit like um, uh, what's it <laughs> called? Uh, no claims court. Right. Yeah, but on TV, yeah. and so yeah. it's a similar sort of vibe as to um, uh, what was that? A kid, not Kilroy. That's the English one. Not Kilroy. The, it's not like what's the classic American? The judge. <laughs> what's, what's the classic American show? <laughs> Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer. Yeah. No, no it's not, it's not like, like that. that. No, 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 because no. that was just no, two people ad- having a dispute. This is a real <laughs> small claims court where people. It's a real life court. Are claiming money <laughs> off of someone else for something like it's not like car. Or like, yeah, it's not like it's actual court case. It's not like you know, you ain't the baby dumber, baby dumber, <laughs> baby daddy or, or Jeremy baby mama. <laughs> it's not like Jeremy yeah. Kyle, where it's like, oh, no, you, no, no. you, you no, it's know, great. Judge Judy's you awesome. know, like this person accuses a little Jewish like woman that's court. like really bucking to the point. Yeah, that she's she's good. really she's got like the sharpest tongue in the world. That's like, true. so like Bianca Del Rio, Adam's favorite drag queen. <laughs> that's probably why I like the Judge same Judy people, yeah. for Snatch Game. And use her oh, yeah, exquisitely oh, sharp yeah, tongue <laughs> to win the game because uh, yeah. because both of them have this amazing wit. That's why. Well, <laughs> that was that was unintended linking of uh, <laughs> subconscious. It's subliminal. Yeah. You just really like the Judge Judy. Uh, yeah, you've been raised on Judge Judy, therefore you like Bianca Del Rio. Yeah. Well, my other my other guilty pleasure. Well, it's not a guilty pleasure. It's a pleasure because I like it. I love like um, um, 1930s like black and white comedies, like <laughs> especially slapstick. They're so, like Lauren Hardy, Will Hay, Three Stooges, Marx Brothers, anything like that is so good. Anything slapstick, I love, you know. If if you feel a bit miserable, put on a bit of slapstick, especially on, on Lauren Hardy, and it's just like oh, it's escapism and silly. So basically, nice. every any sort of like. Silly comedy. Like, I mean, same with Looney Tunes. A bit of slapstick is, is always good. That's not really a guilty pleasure. Stuff. That's just a, an absolute yeah. pleasure. But then I really love 1930 stuff as well. I love musical. And as I said in the last episode, I think, when I went off on my love of that era. So, yeah, those are my two things. Just Judy and Laurel and Hardy. Excellent. <laughs> if you could combine the two, that'd be wicked. Slapstick courthouse. <laughs> 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 You heard it here first. Slapstick yeah. Courthouse. <laughs> Next reality show, Netflix. Netflix, are you listening? Um, <laughs> all right, Vincent, how are you? I, I'm, I don't know if this is a guilty pleasure, but um, I really like watching Friends. <laughs> yeah, Friends are good. <laughs> I know, that's what I say. I that's really like that. One. I think Cobra loads Kai. of people would agree. <laughs> I, keep, I, keep, I just keep going back, you know, I, I finish all the seasons and then repeat season one again. I just... Every, What's every your favourite season? Um, I think actually the first two seasons were okay, but I think it starts to get really good about around maybe three, around yeah. season three and four. Especially yeah. when they when when Joey starts getting more lines. I think I really like I really like Joey. Yeah. And his- <laughs> we we got we got loads of dark theories about friends. Don't we ruin the, it. <laughs> yeah, that's a really. friend's, friend's Don't ruin it. Vincent loves London it. It's his guilty to. pleasure. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, then you won't be able to watch it again if I tell you my theories. <laughs> no. Oh, save no, that. don't ruin it. <laughs> Are we talking about just shows, TV shows? Or can well, it, be it can movies? be anything. It can okay. be anything. Because I'll tell her. <laughs> this is a, a e- bit of a bad thing. Eat it with a spoon. Obviously, I like action movies, right? Yeah. Yeah. Action movies, guns, explosions, you know, Ooh. martial arts, boxing, anything that's to do with killing and fighting. I love I loved those. <laughs> but I don't know why, but I really like films like Miss Congeniality and oh. The Devil oh. Wears Prada. Oh, he's got a soft side. <laughs> I, love I don't know, man. There's something about She's... those two movies. You're a rom-com. Rom-com fan. 
<laughs> is that weird? Is that weird? <laughs> no, that's there not are weird. some I... there are some absolutely brilliant rom coms. Um, have you guys seen Set It Up? It's fantastic. No. It's just yeah. so clever, and it's. Like Ben, Roma- sp- ben speaks up rom com. It's like oh, it's definitely my- <laughs> right. Let's go. <laughs> um, yeah, it's. Uh, I, I just. I, what I like about the rom com <laughs> is that you're guaranteed to have a good story and some good maybe. lines and um, some pathos, maybe, and some sort of story of somebody overcoming something. So, so sort of everything's there in a good rom com, and set it up is really, really good. Um, um, whereas with comedy, it's such a mixed bag, isn't it? When you say, "Hey, this is a funny film," um, I mm. think you've, you're, you're a bit safer with a rom com. What's the um, best? What's your favorite rom com then? It's set it up. That is definitely. It it, it, it's just. It's, it, I watched I it. Watch it. I watched it twice. Um, it's where In essentially what happens is uh, these two co-workers try to set up their two bosses because it's going to be beneficial to them. Well, that's, um, a, that's a in, class dismissal. Oh, that's a dismissal suit. Waiting to happen. Who's in it? Uh, I don't know. Probably some famous actors. I'm just not cool enough to know who they are. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, it, re- re- really good. Really good. Good, good rom com. Nice. I like The Holiday. There you go. About it myself. <laughs> I just haven't seen that. Holiday that? That's a Christmas one. Yeah. There's Cameron with- Diaz and stuff. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's my coolness destroyed. Thanks, <laughs> Diamond Cast. <laughs> Again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right has anyone got any more um while we're here in the confession booth or <laughs> oh i also okay i love tomato puree yeah that's my other one i could eat tomato puree Eating from a jar with a spoon there you go. <laughs> <laughs> like just like like ice cream tomato puree lovely there you go. have you ever tried freezing it and eating it like an ice cream that'd be interesting mm. Come back next mm. week and find out. There you go. Yeah. Um, crunching up cornflakes. If we get 100 likes on this video, I'll yeah. do it for you next week. <laughs> we'll make Adam a freeze pop of a tomato puree, of tomato puree and he can eat it and live react to it live on the show. <laughs> that might be a bit suggestive. Well, it's just that I, you're the one. Behind the paywall. <laughs> There's no paywall. <laughs> People get all this shit for free. <laughs> Thank you, friend. <laughs> yeah, Adam's gonna Adam's gonna eat a uh, frozen smart puree um, next week. <laughs> We're gonna make him do it. <laughs> okay, cool. Anything can happen on this show. Ooh. <laughs> well, I, need to, I need some more sound effects. <laughs> It's a brilliant bit. This, you should get this one. There's this bit at the start of Thunderbirds where this yeah. very dramatic voice goes, mm. anything can happen in the next half hour. Yeah. And um, it's like, well, not really anything can happen. What will happen is the same thing that happens in every episode. Uh, the only difference will be, is the final scene one where Brain does something funny? Or is it one of those like really over the top, you know what, I best, I wish I had those fine, brave men on my team. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. Um, it just depends. That's that's what's going to happen in the next half. Who's your favourite Thunderbird? Um, I love Thunderbirds. I, I, I think John, just because I feel sorry for him. Oh, sorry. What's, what's your favourite Thunderbird like vehicle? I don't remember the names of the people. Uh, well, John is the one who just has to sit in the space station and not do anything. Oh, he's got the so- DOS job. So I just feel kind of sorry for him because he just sort of yeah. it hangs up there, where, whereas the others are like ducking and diving and doing exciting things. That's cool. Thunderbird 3 is the best one. That's the orange? No, no. the red light rocket ship one. Uh, ah, yeah, yes. Yeah. 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 Why do you like that one so much? Because it's cool. Because it's cool. Well, it goes into space, whereas Thunderbird yeah. 1 I don't think does. Yeah, just for... And two's, model, like, two's like a big fat one. It's got loads of stuff in it. Oh, it's, that's the one that's got like a little Green. truck thing that comes out of it and it oh, can go on marshland. All these toys in my house somewhere. Next time I'll do a show and tell. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Five. Cool. Yeah, I love the Thunderbirds. That's a good pleasure. There you go. Anything Kids by shows. Jerry Anderson. Actually, somebody said that as well. Uh, on I, I think I'm not going to like um, tell everyone who said what because I feel like these are secrets. Um, but yeah we've got <laughs> just normal um, now just keep going <laughs> oh, he's I'm back. so sorry um, I'm so sorry you have oh, to no. play this <laughs> you think about how to do it oh, oh wow no even better now he's got it again <laughs> yeah. okay so let's see how long this lasts so um, yeah put your timer on um, so yeah somebody did say actually watching movies or series for children instead of any 
thriller or horror drama ones for adults. Um, so that is a guilty pleasure. I get that because a lot of these by someone on Instagram. Yeah, like a lot of these shows are quite well written. So yeah. um, let's say, for example, The Simpsons. It's not really a kids' show because there's a lot of real kind of like adult jokes in it, and um, it's got good storylines. And right, because it's for both, isn't it? And if yeah. you see it in one way, and then when you grow up, and doesn't you see it talk again, down like, to kids. Yeah. No, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. with Thunderbirds and stuff, you know. Right. Have you guys tried watching any of those kids' shows that you used to watch as an adult, like you know, The Raccoons or um, all the time? And yeah. does, do the stories still hold up? Are you still engaged as yeah. an adult with the stories? Yeah, they always I mean, learn something. There's always like a moral cool. or something that you can you can remember. Like if you watch it as a kid, you kind of go, "Oh, that's where I learned that." Or like it, or if you watch it if you ne- and you didn't watch it as a kid, but you watch it as an adult, you're like, oh, "This is really profound, actually." Like this mm. is something really good to show kids. I don't know about teachers it. nowadays, but it does have the same more. effect. But from the 80s and the 90s, I yeah. know it's, uh, they're quite dark. Like if you watch like um, yeah. Thundercats back as well with stuff like that, it's pretty dark. Um, Transformers and Transformers, like... yeah, Transformers the movie <laughs> fucks you up. Right? All um, Transformers. <laughs> we went to see yeah. the cinema like the first yeah. four episodes when they did the was it the anniversary show? Yeah, yeah. That was good. Well, that you guys watched uh, He-Man. Yeah, yeah. In fact, yeah. I was just going to mention that was that. Um, ben is He-Man. <laughs> He-Man. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> they used to do this thing, which I don't know if they do in kids' shows anymore, where at the end there'd be this little moral bit where it would be very specifically like um, something like, okay. Chad, why did you steal the Wing Raider? <laughs> because they dared me. <laughs> and then camera, and then like like Man at Arms or He-Man would turn to the camera and be like, kids, remember, if someone dares you to do something, you don't have to do it. <laughs> and I'd be like, wow, this is so educational. Um, I don't know if they still do that in kids' TV shows, like have very explicit moral advice or if it's still woven into the story somehow. I liked him, man, because he was Prince Adam. So I was like, oh, it's me. (laughs) Adam, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can understand that. Um, Did you like like He-Man, Vincent? Oh, yeah, yeah. I loved it. Um, I, used to, I, I actually uh, we had uh, we bought those uh, the, the, the figures the uh, toys uh, he yeah, man and uh, some of his friends it was cool. Do you remember which ones you had? Yeah, I had he man and uh, what's the name of the guy with the big <laughs> like a plate right in front of him, like big a big what? saucer or <laughs> he's, 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 so he's got a helmet and it was orange. I orange think it's so that's Man at Arms. That's 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 Duncan, the real name Duncan. Um, who's uh who's yeah. tina's dad and <laughs> know, um no i know i know skeletor, skeletor uh, toy figure is quite cool skeletor literally all of this skeletor if you watch it back again like some of skeletor's burns are pretty good yeah. like this is uh there's someone someone made uh like a montage collage or whatever of like skeletor's best burns on youtube yeah, you can awesome. find it it's him like slagging off um beast man and stuff <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant. It's just like you idiot beast man, and um, Dude, and, and 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 proper stuff like if I had a you know like absolutely exasperated at these buffoons with whom he's chosen to work. Um, well, he's 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 not chosen so much as he's l- stuck with them. I don't know. Maybe he needs to uh, sort of do some restructuring of his. Uh, oh, well, maybe he's a. He's a yeah. Should Better Snake Mountain be? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe he needs to repopulate Snake <laughs> Snake Mountain with some more worthy. Um, what do you call them? Uh, psychics? Not really. Uh, minions. Toys. Minions. <laughs> would you say that? Goons, I said Mattel yeah. toys because didn't they create new characters specifically so they could enlarge the toy repertoire yeah. so people would buy more characters? Just keep, just keep going. And I'll just keep turning that on and off. <laughs> um, you can make a montage yeah, cool. of these. I, I will. I've got literally all the toys montage. for He Man. Um, I'm going to have to do a show and tell. What, what's the other character? Is there, is there a Cyclops there, like with a one eye? Uh, no, no. no uh, he's got three eyes. Is he called? Tri- eyes. Oh, three. It's called Triclops. Triclops. Oh, that's it. Okay. For real. <laughs> okay, I, I know this. I all right, we should do. We should dedicate an episode to like eighties kids TV. Because yeah, remember when we're, we're in the when we've been staying over after gigs, and I just put my eighties TV kids themes. Yeah. Down, oh, Ducktales! That was on. fun yeah. in the caravan. Yeah, yeah. Remember the caravan where we were just yeah. We stayed in like, the caravan before, and we we're just banging and... out all the <laughs> kids and stuff. So we'll we'll have to do an episode That's dedicated cool. to this. 
we could review the best 80s kids tv scenes yeah we could and we could we could play like like um snippets of them and stuff you can't for copyright strikes you can't play longer than a a tiny bit but you could flap them up let us know what your favorite 80 kids tv theme is in the comments or 90s yeah Yeah. or 90s 80s or 90s 90s. like cartoons or kids tv shows we're doing a show dedicated to that i'm sure people will like that um okay so gonna run through some um suggestions that we had for guilty pleasures okay cool uh so um scrolling through the comments on social media is it a pleasure? Yeah, I just thought that was like more of a curse. <laughs> yeah. yeah, more like I a weird addiction, feel... really. Oh, it depends what what the comments oh, are. If it's like if it's like a really f- spicy thing, and you're like, ooh, drama. <laughs> but I can't help always, but whenever I scroll through the comments on social media, there's always somebody who's like being a bit of a provocateur, and someone else who's yeah. arguing, and then afterwards, I always feel like, oh. Yeah, it depends what, on the subject. Are you, are you talking about the, the, the post? Are you li- reading a comment from a post of, from a friend? Or, or is it like... Well, from I mean, a, it doesn't say. Eight. It doesn't say. If I, it's I a spicy it's subject and people are kicking off. Yeah. It's more it's drama. nothing to do with you. Yeah. Just yeah. something else. Well, a, a bit popcorn yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like that Michael, that meme with Michael Jackson. I, l- I love that. I love yeah, that yeah. so much. <laughs> 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 with the 3D shades on as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything yeah, else? Okay. What else? What else? Yeah, what else? Uh, so we've got like um, certain music, certain songs. Uh, somebody said uh, Poppy playlists. Songs. Right, poppy oh. songs. Someone else said a particular Taylor Swift song. Um, uh, songs like unironically listening to songs such as Bohemian Rhapsody or I Will Survive by Crash Bandicoot. Well, these like weird remixes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, actually, love like mashups. I'm a huge yeah. fan of t- Titus Jones and like the booty mashups from like 2010. That's really good. There's a Power Rangers mashup and there's a Pokemon one. Maybe it's because oh. I like the 80s kids TV shows. Yeah, well, that's probably, yeah. <laughs> they're really good. There was a Pokemon one that's um, that he done, and there's a. We'll put, I'll put the links to them in the comments because they're like obviously you got, they're all free because he like uses other songs so you can download them off his website or give there's a, a little thing where you can buy him a pint and it's <laughs> donate him five quid um but yeah i i love i love those songs there's one for power rangers and like Nicki minaj and stuff all mixed together and eminem it's pretty cool well nice. that the cover of um what's going on with the uh, he-man <laughs> he-man one that's the best there should be one <laughs> i bet someone's done one Right, we're just going to carry on every time. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Cares. If no one has done <laughs> one, I think Diamond Black, one. <laughs> Diamond Black should do one. Diamond Black should do like a He Man. <laughs> he um, Man. Okay. <laughs> Michael Jackson. Yes. Michael Jackson versus yeah. He Man. He <laughs> Man. That's it. You got it. Um, oh, wow. Okay, so uh, now it just, just given me 10 seconds ago. Put your fan well, on. That's what she said. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um. Listen. Next one, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and singing in the shower. What, simultaneously? Yeah. Uh, don't know, it's, I assume wet. so. Well, I mean, singing in the shower, I mean, everyone I, does. I don't, I, I have a bath. A uh, bath, that's another guilty pleasure. I like a bath. You I'm don't a bath sing in do you? I'm a bath man. I'm a set, bath set man. <laughs> <laughs> get some candles on, treat myself. <laughs> that just sounds like a pleasure, there's nothing guilty about it. Oh yeah, it's definitely pleasurable. Wait, no, that's actually really creepy. <laughs> He-Man character. He-Man. I mean, yeah. Batman. We've got my little toys in the bath, yeah. What, He-Man He-Man in the bath of the universe. Oh, it's too, it's too good. I'm digging the hole. Um, anyone else a bather? No. No. Um, long essay videos on pointless interest, internet drama. Sorry. No, that's what, like, like the person that likes the comments. Yeah. But this is more like this videos as well. Yeah, I mean, it's just sort of like kind of you can't stop reading all this. It's again, look, it's like why you slow down when there's a car crash on the motorway. Yeah, Michael Jackson. Popcorn. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. The Taylor Swift song in question earlier was a song called You Belong to Me. Does anyone know it? Nope. I don't. Hmm. Um, trashy dramatic <laughs> TV shows. We've talked about those. Uh, watching Young Sheldon. Oh, I tried, to watch, I tried to watch <laughs> the first... Did his mother know? <laughs> I tried to watch an episode of that television programme of which they are referencing. Um, being a, being a, a fan of Big Bang Theory, 
Um, I love Big Bang Theory. And uh, I thought, yeah, this would be great. This would be like a spin-off. And I don't know, it was just, he was just sort of annoying. Uh, maybe I should have given it more time, but I felt like I was watching a kid's show, whereas BBT um, <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> is, is, is definitely a show for, for all ages. You know, this, it's, um, it's uh, very engaging. Um, so, yeah, I didn't, didn't, didn't really... Big Bang Theory. <laughs> I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to put a banner in the works and say I absolutely despise the Big Bang Theory. Okay, wow. It's the worst wow. sitcom I've ever seen. Okay. I also and, don't like it, man. Oh, Five. two on one. Yeah, <laughs> three. <laughs> Nothing. I can't just stand it. Just, just me, so then. so cheesy, yeah, well, corny, yeah. and not Big funny. Ben I don't theory. want to offend, I don't want to offend you or... <laughs> yeah, I don't offend care. away. <laughs> 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 but I mean, that's 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 good. It's good to have different views on things. I think of, of uh, you know we can't all like the same things all the time. No. Well, we we like most of the same things. It's just yeah, yeah. it's to be a BB BBT. But it's interesting me. that you like BBT, but you didn't like Young Sheldon. Yeah, well, yeah. you guys probably just see it as all the same annoyingness. But um, yeah, I found true. I found uh, Young Sheldon to be just you know it was just uh, almost Too like a, a children's show. Like, Children is the reason on why one, I don't like one, Big Bang Theory. So I'm guessing I didn't watch the spin-off because it's just like more of the same. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, I imagine so, yeah. Um, <laughs> I will slightly modify my, my comment, not <laughs> influenced by the fact you will hate it, which is that I, I actually, I do have a particular time of the Big Bang Theory that I prefer because it's like right. 17 seasons or something. Oh, really? oh, wow. Like seasons one to four, I think, when they're just desperately like, trying to get any kind of social interactions whatsoever with anybody else i find it really engaging then whereas later on it was slightly unbelievable that basically that anybody would ever go out with these guys yeah, yeah. um and it was just like i i don't believe that someone like bernadette would ever go out with howard um and uh and and, and there's some kind of like loose theories of yeah okay maybe they because they're like actually these guys are genuinely trying to be authentic and and stuff but i just didn't really believe it but earlier on when it was just them as like misfits it was like yeah this is great <laughs> uh, maybe i've only seen the later bits because my dislike of it was it was just too unrealistic yeah <laughs> i didn't really not that buy a sitcom them has to nerds. be realistic but it was just like wasn't like, based in reality <laughs> like i know a lot of nerds and like they they seem a bit like they're not they're, they're not authentically nerdy they're like un like they're like nerds for TV. That's what. Right. Maybe that's what it was. It Not was because either. because you really know your stuff when it comes to nerddom. You're like, oh, they don't know what they're talking about. Um, whereas I thought like three player chess was hilarious. You probably were like could never work. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the, the, the chess like game they play in Star Trek. We're like, yeah, that totally works. <laughs> yeah. So okay. maybe that's part of the okay. problem. We got some controversy today. Dun, dun, dun. Who knew this would what would, would be would be the most controversial topic? Um, let's talk more about this in the future. Um, but I just want to get through some more of these. Okay, I think we're good. Um, we've got deserting hubby while I have a few days away attending Sisters of Mercy shows. Oh, nice! Including on our twenty fifth anniversary. Oh wow! Uh, this isn't my fault. <laughs> <laughs> deserting your husband. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. Um, uh, well, singing too loud approve, in the car. But we we oh. do approve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. We approve. <laughs> um, singing that's too loud in the car. Life of agony or hey man, nice shot. Am I not so guilty pleasures? What the man. song? Hey man, nice shot. With a filter. Yes. Oh, you know. I like that. I really nice. like that. But yeah, singing, sing, singing too loud in the car. I mean, we've all done it and we've all looked over. We've either looked over and seen someone like in full of flow, just like loving it. Or Depends we've been the one doing the it. And you're like, <laughs> well, are you the driver? Are, are, you, are you, or are you on your own? Or are you annoying the driver? And is the driver like, uh, okay, yeah. one more and I'm going to chuck you out. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, t let's talk about solitary drivers. Here. So we've go. either been the solitary driver and like been caught at the traffic lights just way into it. Or... Given the fact I can't drive, so I'm not sure how I've done this. Um, <laughs> or you've looked across and seen someone as a solid driver, just so into it, like on the motorway, just absolutely loving it. And um, it's cool because people, I think we have that sense that when we're in our cars, it's just kind of invulnerable to the rest of the world. But um, it's, it's like, Apparently you're invulnerable to lightning. Um, yeah. Okay, we've got I get another TV show. We've got binge watching Allo Allo. I can't get enough of her flick. Oh, well, her flick. 
Yeah, that's a good, good era. Yeah, that's just well written comedy, uh, good characters. Herr Flick being the uh, Herr, as in German for Mister Flick. Uh, he's like the German baddie, and uh, I think there's lots of amusing innuendo that goes along. Um, have you have you guys rewatched something like that again recently? In recent times, like Hello, Hello, Hello. some others do have them. Um, What's one you I love? I regularly Lovely? watch Are You Being Served. This is one of my guilty pleasures: is to yeah. stay up late and watch Are You Being Served on DVD. Brilliant, <laughs> brilliant. Anything David Croft was involved with in the seventies is absolutely one of my favourite things to do. Because also, like for a period of time when I was about eight, I lived with my nan and granddad, and they watched these on UK Gold. And back then, it was the nineties, so seventies was, you know, the same as what was... the mid two thousands is for us now. Right, what so, was seen as um, vintage. Yeah, like the early BBT, right? Yeah. Early BBT now is what mine and granddad, but for me, this is like ancient. Um, and so watching these 70 things, like, you know, they talk about things like, oh, well, I'm, I've got 20 pence and you've got one pound and that's a lot of money in those days because it was. And so it feels a bit like childish, like money, but it's actually real money, things like that. But they mm. always have like, they're just, it's just funny innuendo constantly. It's very it, like, you know, it's very PG. It's all very wholesome, but also quite amusing. If you I haven't get... watched it, definitely recommend it. <laughs> yeah, and um, I guess because they had less budget, it means the story has to be quite good so that yeah. it's engaging. I guess <sighs> for a lot of those older comedy shows, they're very well written. Like the original Only Fools and Horses, the half an hour episodes are amazing. They're so well written. They're so funny. And the story arc just wraps up so nicely in like 30 minutes. Yeah. That's the secret of all the things we like. Very good writing. I think that's yes. the thing that ties all these things you mentioned together. That connects and mm. that, that it comes back to itself. It always does then, every time. And yeah. it's brilliant the way it does mm. it in always like a slightly unexpected way with those uh, original Owner Fools and Horses. I love it. It's John Sullivan, mm. who's a great writer. Yes, um, he is. Really, really good. Nice. Someone else says binge watching The Golden Girls, uh, which is um, oh. in the same line. A lot of sitcom related stuff. Of, yeah. Sorry, so I just wanted to see on the sitcom thing. Go back to yeah. what um Vincent said about about friends. Like friends, how many times do you think you've watched it from start to finish, Vincent? Um R- roughly, once, like twice, seven times? Uh, like what was um, that? At least maybe twenty times. Yeah, like okay. twenty, twenty. Because think- apparently that's very common for that particular yeah. sitcom. So many people have watched it so many times and a People like say that they can't sleep unless it's on or they just have it on in the background all the time. Like it's the radio. There's something about the familiarity of it is for They're some people it's like friends. listening. Yeah. <laughs> like it's like listening to a favorite record or whatever. Mm. And um, that's, that's, yeah. that's, that's a bad why. episode as well. No. You can just, you can just jump in at any point and it's like, this is right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's you true, know yeah. them off by heart. Mm. Almost. You know what joke's coming next, but you still laugh. Still How laugh, do they do yeah. that? <laughs> Like I, I, right. I watched it right. on V. I used to have all the VHS tapes, and I used to watch them over and over again. Like, and then rewind it back to the beginning, and then put it in the case, and then watch the next one, and did it all the way through. Like, good. Thanks, man. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please do comment if you've got any guilty pleasures uh, below the video. Please like, please subscribe. All this stuff really helps us to gain traction. So we really appreciate it. All right. Thank you, guys. We'll see you next week. See you next week. Yay! Bye. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>